you guys have been asking about this box here. Let's check it out. <laughs> this is my box of my favorite agates that I have found so far. So let's take a peek at it. I'll show you what's going on in there. As you can see, size ranges here. I have a lot more agates up here, up there, and over here. But these ones are some of my favorites, so I thought I'd show you some of these. And uh, like I said, yeah, they range in size. Like I even got some stuff in here that's just itty bitty, but it's just so beautiful. And I just don't care about size. So it's all about the bands. It's all about the characteristics. This thing is awesome. This looks like an eye. Absolutely love this one. Here's a good one. Let me get a jar of water here. Check that out. Look at this water level banding right here. Isn't that ridiculous? Absolutely crazy. Crazy, crazy. We'll grab another one here. Alright, so here's another one that's just beautiful. Look at the bands on that. That's crazy. Limonite staining on the exterior. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Got this guy right here. Just really great bands. Found this one up on the North Shore. This one was uh, one that didn't make it into any videos. It was just one that I found when I was out with the family, having a family day. Love this one. This one is actually really special to me. It's got water level banding. Found this guy in a random stream that I dug about six inches in and just this is the only thing I pulled out. It's a very old video too. Really old. Early days. Back when Agat Dad was the Agat Dad. <laughs> Cringe. Here's another one. Beautiful orange. Look at that. Looks like meat. Just awesome. And I, I'm suspicious that right here, these little pockets of quartz, I think it's purple. It's got some right here too. But the banding on this thing is just crazy. Super cool. I really love that one. That was a gravel road find. Here's one that was from the North Shore. A little paint. Paint agate. Comes all the way around. Really pretty. Really, really love that. Really like that one. This one, the limonite stained agate, south shore of Wisconsin, or as I like to call it, Wisconsin. Love that one. Really cool. This is one I found on a gravel road. A lot of people suspect this to be a potential artifact, arrowhead. I don't believe so. I think it just broke in a way that resembles one. But who knows? could be. The bands on it are crazy. Very, very beautiful. Very tight. Almost has like a purple hue in there, which is really, really neat. Sweet. Also on the same gravel road as this guy. I call this one my two-face agate. There's the exterior. Has some beautiful orange banding, some quartz. Then on this side, white banding. This is sun bleached. A lot of time probably sitting there looking up at the sun getting bleached. How cool is that? Old Two Face. This, <laughs> oh, this is another Wisconsin agate. Look at the skin on this thing. Look at that. I found this in some random rocks and just like a pull off on a random road. I just pulled off and was looking around and was just sitting there. And the time I found this, this was the really fun because this was my biggest agate at the time when I found that. I was really excited about that. Nice bins. Love that. Look at that. Beautiful. Some blues, oranges. Amazing. So. Yep, yep. I'll grab some of these from the top here. I'm not gonna show you yet. If you guys have been following along, I'm sure you've seen a lot of these, but they're just fun to look at. So here's one I'm in love with. I want to do something with it in regards to polishing, but I'm 
to be honest, terrified to touch it because it's just so beautiful. I don't want to screw it up. Look at those bands. Show you the exterior here. That's crazy. Gravel road find. Got lucky. It was about a, I can't remember exactly how many feet away, but it was really close to a fossil. Had a little uh, brachiopod fossil in, in there. It was really crazy. Let's see here. This one is amazing. Found this right at the beginning of the North Shore in Canal Park. <laughs> when they used to have a beach, they don't have the beach anymore. It's all gone. But it's skipping at them. Skipping at them, Agate. How beautiful is that? I don't find too many with this color. This coloring is just nuts. It's really beautiful. There's green pockets in here. So cool. And a little bit of peeling action going on in the back. Where do I go from here? All right. This one also never made it into a video. No peeler. But check it out. Check it out. Hoo -hoo. Look at them bands. Classic LSA banding. Reds and whites. Chevron pattern. That is awesome. Found this one on the North Shore. Also did not make it into any videos. Just stopped for a minute. Literally a minute. This is the only thing I found on the beach. This one is right outside. I can't remember. I don't know if it has a name or not. But the beach is right outside of Duluth. It's not Brighton Beach. Past that. That banding though. This thing's insane. Love this. So beautiful. All right. If you guys remember this one, I found this one at the same spot. It might be at different times, but that chevron banding. Scoopy, help me find this one. Found it sitting in Lake Superior. Just love the banding on there. This one could also be suspect of uh, maybe possible arrowhead. It looks like it has, it's got that, I think the term is napping is that right I don't know but really cool it's like a blue bluish gray love that one all right these two next two are found at gravel pits look at that it's got some like really like I want to say wide double bubble action going on in there So cool. Love the banding in that. Wild. Uh, this is one of my favorites. This is probably, if I had to pick like a top five, it, this one would be in the top five. Not for that. Just wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love how this lime on it looks like it's just like, like oozing down. Like, it's so cool. It's got so many colors in there too. Yeah. See all those like details right there? I just noticed that. And every time I look at these, I find something new. I just love it. Just love it. So neat. Alright, we'll move on to these. This one is very special to me. Really, really special. Because I didn't find it. My beautiful wife found it. We were at a beach just looking around and she's like, look at this. What's this? This looks pretty cool. I was like, you know, this, that's, that's a Saganite egg, right? You can see the sprays going on there and there and throughout. Yep, this is her biggest egg that she's ever found. Not too bad. They're really cool. I really love this one. Look at those details. Just crazy. 
You guys know this one. If you've been tagging along, this is my double bubble amethyst agate that I found on the south shore of Wisconsin. Recently polished. I'm not going to get that wet because it already looks amazing. Yep. Polished that with my flat lap. That thing's awesome. All right, here's one. Didn't make it into any videos because I... Oh, oh no, show it. It's all quartz, right? I was bringing my dog to get neutered, and while I was waiting to bring him in, they had landscaping rocks outside, and I looked down and spotted this thing. <laughs> How crazy is that? That's just really neat. I love it because of the quartz in there. It's just like... This is so awesome. It's crazy that I've never found an agate with that much quartz in it before. It's hardly agate. It's probably it's more quartz than agate. But yeah, that's nuts. Sweet. Cool, cool. Found this bad boy in a beautiful little creek along the North Shore. Just completely dominated by limonite staining. So awesome. So cool, look at that face. What is that? It's so awesome. Yeah, this thing is just crazy. Some of these, you know, I get suggestions like you should cut that or you should tumble that. And a lot of these, you know, you look at it, I'm like, I'd love to, but I feel like I'd regret it. Because there's a few of them that I've cut. I had another one that was similar to this and I cut it. And I just, like, the bands are beautiful inside, but I just kind of regretted cutting it. That's pretty cool. So, all right. The great white. Let me get this thing wet. This thing is my biggest agate I've ever found. It's insane. The bands on it are nuts. This is the most boring part about it in the back here. I don't know if you could consider it a back, but I call it the back or the bottom. But yes bands on this thing are absolutely amazing i love this part this part is just crazy whites blues pinks oranges i love that it reminds me of onion i like onions <laughs> look at that watch Watch as I turn it. It just comes down to that. I don't know if you consider that like a funnel path. Maybe. But there. Isn't that thing gnarly? The colors in there. There's even like, it almost looks like purples up top. With some blues. The great white. I can't remember how much this thing weighs. I don't know if I've ever weighed it. Might have to weigh it. I don't think it's a pound. I'm fairly certain it's not. But, yes, it was super fun when I found this because obviously it's huge. Like, it's fun finding the bigger stuff because you know how rare they are. But look at the details. Like, that's what I care about the details. Look at this chevron pattern. Sitting six inches down and some eroded dirt. I found it. It was crazy. Crazy, crazy. This is also one I will never do anything to ever, most likely. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, those are my favorite agates in my agate box. Box of agates. <laughs> all right so that is my favorite agus box and all of its contents it's been a really great year and i know some of those are found in 2019 the year that i started rock hunting and it's been really fun it's been a great year and a half i really look forward to 2021 we've had a great year in 2020 in regards to rock hunting and everything i appreciate you guys so much Appreciate you guys taking along with all of our adventures with everything. It's been it's been really amazing. So I can't thank you guys enough for everything. I look forward to next year. It's gonna be really fun. <laughs>